understand what probation means uh yes sir it means that if you continue down that same path you'll be locked up and calling some cellmate daddy within a month yes sir if i had it my way we wouldn't waste our time you'll be inside already mr gray has made great progress his share on willfulness was one of the most powerful things i've ever heard i, I believe in this man Let's hope you don't live to regret that fate. God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> in this case, it seems God is downright perverse. But I'll leave the salvation to you gentlemen. You stay out of trouble. Yes, Daddy. Excuse me? Yes, sir. Remember, it's a disease. I know, Chad, I know. It's a disease. Meetings every day. Call you if I feel the need to use. Pray. I pray. In fact, I'm praying right now. You're very willful. Was very willful, Chad. Was very willful. I've changed. And you know what, Chad? You changed me. Gentlemen, shall we get the fuck out of here? Hey, stay in touch. Yo. Here you go. It's about time. Sweet home. <laughs> Don't question me. 
Sometimes you gotta look out for yourself, Billy. Okay. I'll save my questions until I see the chapter. And you better have looked after my baby. Here we are, dude. What's going on? Not much, Bill. The usual stuff. We missed you, Bill. So, aching for a fucking drink here? Amiguito. Come on, just pour a willy wet back. Boys, salute you motherfuckers. Right salute! <laughs> okay, another <laughs> round for you. Everyone. Goddamn right. <sighs> mm, yummy. So, Johnny boy, where's my bike? You know where it is. Let me rephrase the question. Where the fuck is my bike and where the fuck haven't you got it back for me? Because you know where it is. Are you deaf? Give me that whiskey. Are you fucking deaf? No. Then answer the goddamn question. Why the fuck haven't you got it back for me, friend brother? One word. Business. Like I told you when you were in there. Or were you so busy playing holier than thou, you started believing your own bullshit? Oh, forgive me. You know, I've had a complicated few weeks. I can only imagine. Bill. Shut up. You know, coming off heroin's kind of hard. I think I acquired this touch of amnesia. What business is more important, Mr. 1980s yuppie big shot, than your best friend's bike when he's close to getting a 15-year stretch? The business that pays his lawyer's fees. The business that puts food on all of our tables. The business that we are all in while you're out pretending to be saved. Get my bike! What am I, your fucking dog? I told you we should have gotten the bike. You told me? You told me you don't tell me shit, you little fuck! Listen, Billy. They were pissed, and they had a reason. Your bike chopped that girl's leg off. You put Joe John's nephew in a coma. The deadbeats kept the bike, and we needed the money. You needed some balls. Ugh. Some fucking heart. Something. Can't believe I'm hearing this shit. Yeah. And I can't believe I'm hearing this. After everything we did for you. Paid your rehab, paid your lawyer's fees, paid your rent, paid everything. Shit, we set stuff up for you. We do well, man, but it's time to be smart. You're right, you're right. No, you're right. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run right out and buy a condo, get a mortgage, 401k, and then fold that over into an IRA and a CD. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? Be smart, you be smart, you fucking chump. You're ridiculous. Have you got a health care plan? Come on, Johnny, let's just get his bike. Come on. Well, on your head be it. It always is. It's called leadership. Shit meaning something. Yeah, and your shit means a lot, man. Come on. Hey, Johnny. Yeah? Wait, come here. Listen, man. Well, I'll pin up right now. You saw that shit I had to go through, right? It was really frustrating, fucked up shit, craziness, right? Okay, so I'm a little pissed off and I've been a bit of a prick lately. But come on, man. You and Angus built that bike for me? That's got to stand for something. Yeah, you're right, brother. I'm gonna go get it. And you know what? Peace and prosperity be damned. Peace and prosperity be damned, my brother. You are my brother, Johnny. Always. Let's go! Wait for. You want something done right, you do it yourself. Until we get my bike, I'm the monkey on your back. Shit, guess we gotta make a call on pretty boy. So we're full hand on Guantanamo. Look at me. Managed to avoid prison and I'm still asked to cock with a dude. Yeah, well, I ain't too happy about it neither, man. You wanna turn around and go back to the clubhouse? I'm happy about it, all right, John boy. Walk after that therapy shit and drink at the road's all I need. Good to know. You've been missing me all that time I spent sharing and caring and rehab? Let's get your bike and save the emotions for later. You know what, Johnny? You can do with some of the trust exercises they got in there. I'm gonna blindfold you when we get back. All you gotta do is fall over and trust that your brothers are gonna catch you. <laughs> can you do that? You boys will be too drunk to catch VD, let alone 230 pounds of rapidly approaching middle age. Technically, you are 230 pounds of Jewish biker, John Boy. Your faith has got to come first. Religion. 
religion, Billy. Religion. I gave up with faith. Johnny the Jew, Clements the Heath. Good to be here, man. Good to fucking be here. What's your problem? Nothing, man. I'm the leader of the chapter again, Johnny. And you're just another brother. Can you handle it? As long as you run the chapter right, we can all handle it. I'll run it the way it needs to be run. Same as the three guys before me did. Same as I'm doing now. Really? Feels kind of different. Before, all we cared about was having fun. Brothers, getting shit-faced. Screw you, you get in our way, you're gonna get your teeth kicked in. Thank you for Jerry. And now what's it feel like to you, Jonathan? Feels like knocking heads is a full-time job. Maybe if we stop doing it for a minute, we look around and realize that the fun ended a long time ago. Yeah? Well, I signed up to be a brother for life, you ungrateful fuck. If you're in the law for the good times only, fair weather weekends in the careways, then you ain't in the law. You get me? Chill out, man. I just hope when we decide to take a break, slow down, that's still an option on the table. Pretty boy. Hey! Where's the bike? Oh, it's good to see you too, tough guys. Uh, what bike are you talking about exactly? You know what we're talking about? Billy's bike. Billy's bike? <laughs> Jesus, man. It's been a long time. I thought he was dead. What's he wanted for? To sell for crack, right? Hey? Shut up. Listen, you know how it is. Things passed hands. Parts been changed up. Hard to say if that chopper's even around anymore. Sorry, boys. You will be, my friend. You will be. Hey, good to see you, Bill. Man, I, I thought you was dead. Jim, start up the bike. Whoa, hold on. Wait! Please, please! No, 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 no! no. Where is my ah, bike? Ah, no, Speak, no, you no, ugly no, fuck! No. Okay, listen. Uh, the Angels of Death took it to their place in Northwood. What the fuck, the Angels of Death? Uh, uh, thank you. Yes. Thank you! Oh. <laughs> Ain't no time for ass practice. Okay, now all we gotta do is pick up the bike. You didn't have to do that. He told you who had the bike. You really gone south, haven't you, Johnny? You know, you could do with a stretch in the joint. Might hard you up. Whatever. What about an eye for an eye and all that shit? You should have been the one making that guy pay for holding out. Enough of that shit. We got more things to worry about than respect and stupid kid stuff. We gotta keep business afloat or we're fucked. You just don't get it, do you? This is what it's about. This. Not that money shit. We're in it to stick it to all those yuppies and hippies and motherfucking dead. Give me a stiff drink, some hard drugs, the road in my chopper, that's all I need. Maybe an occasional bit of a hole. Wouldn't be a man if I didn't need that now, would I? How's Ashley, by the way? She's single? What about your brothers, man? Ain't you in it for the lost? Everything I do is about the lost. I don't exist without my brothers, without you. If you don't get that, then you don't get nothing, John Boy. Is that state of affairs? Yeah, well, it's some tough love you're showing them. Fucking bike! Hey, Billy, how 
How's it feel to be on the old bike, man? Okay, Bill. Got your bike. Take what you gotta take. Drink what you gotta drink. Fuck what you gotta fuck. I don't care. Kill who you gotta kill. But get it out of your system. Hmm. And when you do, give me a call or we'll get back to business. You're not my P.O., brother. Remember who the head of this chapter is. I do, man. Trust me. Tell me. Do you still have Ashley's phone number? Why don't you give her a call for me? Tell her I'm inside getting all sorts of fucked up. And that I would really like... I mean, we... Meaning all of us... Would love some whole... Little dorky gas station attendant boy Whoa. goes, Hey, man, are you all right? And I go, Yeah, dude, how's my bike? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey, Johnny Cale. Hey, Johnny. Hey. Hey, Johnny. Hey. How you doing, baby? Hey, oh. Oh. the fuck? Domestic oh. violence. Hey, having fun over there? Absolutely. And if I get tested, I have a bag of 12-year-old's piss right here. <laughs> I am clean. <laughs> Real nice. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Johnny. You oh. don't judge me. Whoa, calm down, man. Have another drink or something, but calm the fuck down. Oh, hey, fuck watch you, your mouth. faggot. Tell yeah. him. Oh, really? Whoa, 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 guys, guys, Billy, Johnny. We got a couple of fucking deadbeats outside. Dead what fucking deadbeats? What the, what they dead? Dead? What the fuck, fuck do they want? I'm out of rehab three minutes, and they think they can crash yeah, my party? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's go. We gotta do. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Why the long faces? Might I tempt you in a swift libation, my most trusted and honored guest? I thought we had a truce going. Did you? Funny thing, I wasn't aware. But let me tell you, it's a strange kind of truce that makes you think that it's okay to gate crash my party? Deadbeat, motherfucker. I'm sorry. Huh. You enjoy your little party. I take it the good times are over. No problem, old man. Screw you, you deadbeat prick! Yeah, Think you can come to my you. party and get crashed? Come on! Yeah, come on! Ah, uh, you moron. Let's get those things. Johnny boy, you know the deal? If it ain't one load of bullshit, it's a goddamn nother. Tell me about it. I'm coming close to really losing my shit here. Well, you ain't gonna like what I'm about to do in the next few hours. What? We gotta go steal some bikes from the Angels of Death. Ain't we a little too old for stealing bikes and clubhouse flags and crap like that? <laughs> it don't help nothing. Yeah, I hear you, man, but these bikes are the real deal. Now, I got a guy who pays me for them, and then he ships them over to Japan. Apparently, they're gonna go crazy for these bikes in particular. Now, business is business. The angels, they're the angels. So do it for the memories. Okay, it's been a little while since you and me have been on a prank like this together, hadn't it? <laughs> too right, brother, too right. Who knows? Might be fun. <laughs> I'm point on this run. Let's go. 
It would take a real dumb civilian to screw with our bikes on club turf. The bikes are parked up by the Tudor Chapters HQ. Where'd you get the van, Jim? You ain't turned into some kind of trailer queen, have you? Very funny, asshole. This shit belongs to my contact. If I wanted to take a bike of mine somewhere, I'd drive it myself. Yeah? Having an old lady and kid hasn't made you scared of getting dirty. I was riding bikes before your mama rode your daddy, Jonathan. Jackie and the baby, yeah, it's nice and all. And shit, I mean, I love them and stuff. But I'm still a brother. Lost MC, man. Forever. So, if Billy asked you to do something that meant you wouldn't be able to look after them for some time, or, or maybe not ever... Yeah, Johnny, I take your point. I'd have to think long and hard on it, okay? But I think long and hard about what I'm gonna order at Burger Shot as well. I guess I'm the thinking type of maniac. It's time to stick it to him, Johnny. Let's do this. Get the bikes, Johnny. I'll scan the horizon. We should unload a couple of these bikes. A prospect can handle the truck. Alrighty then, amigo. Oh, I always get a kick out of sticking it to them pants. Old habits die hard, brother. Yep. Too bad times weren't always this easy. Oh, shit. Be cool, man. Well, what do we have here? Looks to me like a couple of mopes with some stolen bikes. These bikes are ours, officer. Nobody's gonna be reporting these bikes stolen, so... Give us a break. Oh, it looks like these folks about smarter, us, don't it? Unbelievable. These inbred biker rednecks get smarter every year. <laughs> Your parents must have been fucking brilliant siblings. Yeah, funny. Think you're smart? How smart are you gonna feel when we drag your old lady downtown, turn the cameras off, and interrogate her real hard? Man, I bet she'll love it. Yeah. She'll be begging us for another fucking interrogation in no fucking time! Oh! oh. We've been watching the angels of death shit, birds! That's right, we saw the whole thing, you fucking jerk-offs! Case closed! And now you're gonna fucking pay us, just like your daddy paid your mama for sex! Skank bitch wouldn't even give her own brother a freebie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, think of a number, assholes. And it better be a big one. And while you're at it, we're gonna be watching. So you better behave yourselves, boys. Ha! Watch it, this. Assholes. Fucking cocksuckers! Fucking pricks like those who have maybe joined the Lost in the first place! I'm gonna go back to the clubhouse. See who's around. Later, man. Later. Hey, Jim. Good to see you, man. What's the trouble? Take a guess, bro. Might have something to do with those cops that pulled one over on us. I figured. The way I see it, we got two choices. Either we buy a big tub of grease and prepare to take it from these fat pigs the rest of our lives. Or? Or we head over to the clubhouse. Close to where I happen to know they got themselves set up, and we show them that we're not quite the bitches that they think we are. Well, well, tempted as I am by your first option, I'm gonna have to go with the second. I figured you'd say that. Lead on, James. I like the feel of a fully automatic pistol in your hand, you son of a bitch. Let's see if you still got it, old man. Let's drop the fucking hammer on this run to those assholes. Kill that source, child. Wait here a minute. Hey, officers, how you doing? Hey, McCornish, this fat purpose brought us a present. <laughs> no, I forgot how stupid looking this guy was, Matthews. You think he's smart enough to realize that we got expensive tastes? What do you uh, got for us, Mo? Oh, exactly what you asked for. Well, all right. Hey! There you go! <laughs> mad but see there was only two of them yeah, yeah. were mad they were not was you should know that no you'd have been okay because you because are... i am a lawyer yes and during the week you cover up those nice gnarly tattoos with a gray flannel suit and make a nice steady income oh man tom stubbs would love hanging out with you boys huh. he may be a politician he may be a politician but he ain't no square smoke dave oh hell yes
I put some mescaline in with the weed, Dave. <laughs> so I'd be very careful if I were you. <laughs> you could be tripping for days. I could handle it. Oh, yeah, I yeah, fucking I love you, man. Oh, Jonathan, look at this guy. This is Dave, Dave Grossman. By day, top lawyer at Shysters. By night, a knight of the road battling the very corporate forces he represents. Say, hey, Dave. Are you a bisexual? <laughs> Very funny. I didn't think right. so. I guessed you just like cock. Jonathan, bong hit? Nah. Hey, Dave, forgive me, man. Would you fuck off for a second? I gotta talk to Billy. Uh, Please, Dave. Uh, Up, Dave. Uh, Thank you. You look serious. What's next, man? Documentary team in here? You gonna write your autobiography or something? He's cool. He's a lawyer. He can help us with shit. He looks like an asshole. And right now, I think he's tripping his face off. Whatever. Look, dude, you and me... Shit seems kind of tense lately, doesn't it? It's kind of lame. Have I offended you in some way? No. Then what do you say we put all this shit behind us and have some fun? Because life is pain, brother, and through this life, through this brotherhood, we can give the pain the finger. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pain. Oh. yeah you're right, man. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah? Are you fucking kidding me? What? Where? All right, all of you, let's go! Let's go! Let's Our go boys are getting jumped! Fucking right, ass, boys! Go. Come on in, gather around. Hey, chill out. Brothers, I just got word that Jason's been killed up in Broker. Oh, he was banging some Russian broad, and her heavy duty father didn't much like it. He hired a fucking Polak to do it. I think he was a Serb, Brian. Fucking Slav scumbag, all the fuckers. Shut the fuck up. Brothers, we will find a way to get payback. Against this Polish, Russian, Serb, I don't really give a shit. In the meantime, let's take a moment to remember Jason and all the other men who've given the finger to this shitty little thing that we call conformity. Hey, Amen, Billy. Got that right. Now, Jason was he's just a kid. But he hit the throttle harder than most of us, huh? He's <laughs> a lawbreaker, troublemaker, beer drinker, and hellraiser. Uh, he didn't suffer fools. Got any piece of hole he wanted. <laughs> Always had time for a brother in need, and he was scared of precisely jack shit. That's right. <laughs> in short, the kind of man I'd want to be. Jason Michaels. 
Lost, but not forgotten. Amen to that, buddy. Jason. Ah. Okay, boys. The time for pussy licking and ass kissing is over. We are brothers for life, lost forever. In these perilous times, it's more important than ever that you follow your leader, and that is me. Remember. Yeah. I'll see you boys back at the clubhouse. So where did you get them from? Oh, you know, from a little contact I have, I really want you to cut me out of the loop. The hell I get it. What is wrong with you? Hey, man, what kind of going? shit is out there? Billy, all you gotta do is grab it. And that makes you what? A, uh, shit grabber? <laughs> shit grabber. Wow. Now, see, I like how you did that. It was very good, very clever. Almost like a joke, you know, only it wasn't funny. Johnny, you met Ray? Hey. Ray Bocino? Hey. My brother, Johnny. Johnny the Jew. Johnny the Jew, how the hell are you? Do me a favor, help keep this degenerate out of jail, all right? At least until he's paid me. I'll do my best. Yeah, later. What's he selling you? Toys, my boy, toys. <sighs> now, come on, let's go. Man, where are we going, Bill? Pay somebody a visit. Billy, man, please don't be a dick. Johnny, you seem a little tense lately. Have you considered some analysis? Maybe <laughs> a day spa? High colonic? Colonic. <laughs> <laughs> talking about? These deadbeats are the ones who killed Jason in Broker. Thought it was a pole or a serve or something. We got some bad information, brother. These are the guys. They killed that kid, and look at you. You're acting like you don't even give a shit. You sick or something, man? These deadbeats killed Jason? Yes, they did. Now, take one of these grenades and put it through their window. <laughs> the Almighty forgives, Johnny. The lost don't. Yeah, amen, Johnny boy. Pay him back for Jason, man. We're about to have some fireworks! Shit, that's gotta hurt. Deadbeats have got themselves one shitload of heroin. Pack it up, Johnny. Wait, I don't understand. What? I thought this was payback for Jason, man. What the fuck is this? Two million in arm candy is as good a payback as I can think of. That Come Jesus, on, brother. Dude, hold your fucking horses, man. Now we're gonna steal their smack? Slow down. Slow down, huh? Hold up. Wait. Ooh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Physics lesson, fuckball. Do you know how motorcycles work, do you, Johnny? You about to get school. Centrifugal inertia. Meaning, the quicker your wheels go, the more stable you are. The faster we go, the harder we hit it, the more us brothers pull together. That's why we do what we do. That's how we do what we do. Why? How? They're the same fucking thing. We go faster, longer, and harder. And that's how we stay together. Brian, shut up. What the fuck are you talking about? You gotta stop reading them shitty internet sites, man, and start thinking about what you're doing to us. We lift this shit right now, and every deadbeat on the East Coast is gonna come after our chapter. 
Well, that's something your leader will have to worry about, not you, soldier. Brian, grab the shit. The big bad biker man. Liz Taurus, the meanest bitch in Bohan. Oh, come here, sweetie. Shit, I'd let you kiss me, but I'm afraid you'd stick a knife in my back while I was doing it. You wouldn't be the first man I tried that trick on, sweetie. Yeah, I heard the stories. Listen, I also heard you got somebody for that brown. Maybe. There's an apartment on Cassidy Street in Shortler. You go upstairs and talk to Charlie on the third floor. There any heat? When isn't there? I got a new guy going along with you. He's from Eastern Europe somewheres. If the heat's coming from Charlie, use this Slavic motherfucker to help. But if it's him, you know what you gotta do. Well, either way, it ain't coming back to you, Liz. Hey, you know Playboy? He's going along too. Hey, Playboy! Yo, chill for a second, Joe. Nah, not really. Well, don't you wanna dance? No, I'll just sit right here and wait for your boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Johnny! Yo. Come over here! Come here! Yeah. Nico, this is Johnny. Now, Johnny is sitting on a big pile of heroin. I don't go near this stuff, professionally. But I found him a buyer. We're nervous. Will you oversee the deal and check everything is cool? Sure. Thank you. Well, I gotta go pick up the stuff. So, uh, I'll see you there. Alright. Give me that shit, man. We got a buyer. I don't know why Billy got you to handle this, and not me. I mean, what's up with that, huh? I guess you Semites are good at... sniffing out a deal. Uh, Ain't that right, Johnny? He didn't get you because Liz Torres and any other two-bit hustler on the street would take you for the little pussy that you are. And rob you blind. But give me that shit. See you around, big guy. Charlie, like in the Vietnam. <laughs> Just like the movies, money. Yo. Hey, man. Hey, you ready? Sure, let's do this. Nothing like selling some dope to let you know you're alive. Let's go. Yeah, let's do this. All right, come on. Hey, what's going on, guys? What's going on? Not much. Let's do this. You got the heroin, right? Right? Come on, let's do this quickly. But you got the heroin, correct? You're carrying it, correct? I mean, it's a simple question. What's wrong with you? You're being fucking weird. <laughs> Not weird, man. I just want to know if you're carrying the stuff, right? You ain't right, friend. No, Come no, on, no, let's no. get out of here. LCPD! Freeze, motherfucker! I said freeze! I'm the part company. You head up, and I'll go down. Are we rich? No, Billy, we're not. What we are is under observation by some kind of LCPD drugs task force. The buyer was a pig. Hell, Johnny, that's not kosher. I'll call you when another buyer's lined up. Sounds good. We're moving up in the world, Johnny. There's a congressman. Need your help. Tom Stubbs the third. I told you keeping that lawyer around would have a juice in. This guy's at one of them dumbass gentlemen's clubs in Algonquin. The kind without tits. The jousters. Politicians and lawyers? What are we becoming, man? Next thing you're gonna tell me, we're doing some shit kicking for the LCPD. It's just opposite the Libertonian. Go pay him a visit. If you're still thinking about your brothers and not just your own ego, that is. Liz Torres. It was good to see you, Johnny. Yeah, only problem was your friend, the UC. He nearly blew my ass off. <laughs> How's your fancy European friend working out? Him and the lost MC. Me and the brothers are tight. I hope so, for your sake, Johnny, you know. <laughs> See you soon, baby, huh? Hello. Johnny Clevin. Yeah, who's this? He tried to offload some smack to a colleague of mine called Charlie. Costly mistake. Who the fuck is this? Agent Jones, FIB. We'd like you to come in for a talk. Things might be easier for you if you give us some information on your motorcycle club. Fuck you, Fed. This conversation's over. If you got any evidence on me, 
Get a warrant. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. I thought I'd inquire about a membership. Excuse me? Uh, yeah. Under this ravaged, drug-addled exterior lies the heart of a reactionary prick. So I thought I'd fit right in here. I think you should leave, sir, before I call the police. I think you should leave, sir, before I... Dude, it is the 21st century. Let me tell you something. You've got a job wiping rich prick's asses, and for some reason you seem a little pleased with yourself. Will you leave? Trust me, man, nothing would please me more. But I'm supposed to see Tom Stubbs, and, well, he said to meet him here. Oh, Mr. Stubbs, sir. Okay, you only had to say so, sir. Follow me, will you? Mr. Stubbs is in the day spa, receiving some back work. Right you are. <clears throat> Mr. Stubbs, a gentleman for you. Oh, thank you, Levis. And thank you. So, you're David Grossman's friend. Oh, yeah. We're old, old buddies. Love the old boy network. Yeah, I can imagine. So, what is it that you want? Could you excuse us, sugar? Okay, sure. And thank you. Best massage I ever had that didn't involve a happy ending or a poignant sense of guilt afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow. Tom Stubbs, how do you do? Well, now that you mention it, I'm starting to feel a little queasy. Don't be pathetic. And no secrets here, pal. Now listen, I'm in a bit of a bother sport. Well, I think they can fix that with surgery these days, you know. Can we stop with the jokes? Grossman tells me you're reliable. Grossman? That guy's an asshole. Look, I'm not gonna insult your intelligence by pretending to be a good guy. I'm a politician. I'm a cynic. I'm very needy. I need people to like me. I need people to like me so that they elect me. I need people to elect me so that I feel marginally less bad about myself when I stare into the mirror. That being said, I try to do a good deed here and there. Democracy is a beautiful thing. Personally, I prefer a benign dictatorship without the pretense of choice. But let's leave the political discussion, shall we? Yes, let's. Unfortunately, an awful man has ensured that my chance of being re-elected is pretty much zero. Why? Blackmail? Not exactly. I need his money, and he hasn't died. What? You want me to kill your father? No, that's disgusting. How could you suggest such a thing? My father died years ago, thank God. No, my uncle, that sanctimonious do-gooder, controls the family trust. Whoa. That's heavy, man. Yes. So is being arrested for drug running and spending the next 30 years in prison. You and your little gang, I mean. I see. You make a wonderful politician. I know. Now, you've got to get the old goat today. Make it spectacular. Make it appear as though it's a terrorist act. That'll do wonders for my campaign in all sorts of ways. Uh, Levis will give you a package on the way out. Right. Oh, and Clevitz, trust me, I am what I am. But I look out for those who help me. A blackmailer with a conscience. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, Clevitz, give me the good news. I'm just about happy with the eulogy my researchers drafted up. Sadly, Stubbs, I'm not gonna be able to disappoint you. Your uncle is no longer with us. For my conscience's sake, I hope your lack of humanity is a genetic quality. Uh, he was a man of the people, a philanthropist, pompous windbag, and an occasional ketamite. A typical Stubbs, you might say. Sleep easy and drop into the club sometime soon. Ash? Johnny boy. John, I need some help. I ain't got a handout for you. I'm sorry. I think I ain't gonna fix it, Johnny boy. I need a knight in shining armor to take me away from this mess. They're gonna kill me. Or worse. Jesus. Johnny, I'm sorry. Don't worry, I'll get you out of here. 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 Don't worry, I'll get you out of
You sure know how to get yourself into trouble, don't you, baby? You sure know how to get me out, Johnny. Come here. What's wrong? I don't want to hang out here. Can we go? I don't want to hang here, neither. Then again, I'm not the one messing up my head on a week-long ice binge. I remember when you used to mess around at my place. That don't happen anymore, either. Take me home, man. I'm crashing hard. You all right? I'm with you now, Johnny boy. How could I not be? How long you been up? Two days? Three? Who's counting? It ain't good for you. You know that. Sure, sure. You expect me to stay clean when you're not there to look after me? Maybe if you answered your calls. Fuck. Whatever. Okay. I'm bad, baby. Ah, I'm bad. I know it. You should teach me a lesson. Hit me or something. Teach me I'm wrong. Enough of that. Teach me, baby. It's the only way I'll learn. Make me hurt. You're making yourself hurt already, you fucking idiot. Hit me. Give me a break, sweetheart. I used to fucking love you. You're too sweet for words, Johnny boy. You think I'm sweet too? You ain't good for me, sugar. That's all I know. Nice place you got here, sugar. Not now, honey. I ain't feeling so good. I thought you said you stopped smoking that stuff. I did, Johnny boy. I did. I promise. I never lied to you. Come on, baby. That's crap. <laughs> you know it. I never lied to you when I was sober. Well, my whole life's falling to shit, sweetheart. I guess it was dumb of me to think this would be any different. I'm sorry. I know I ain't much, but I'm all yours. You do know that, baby, don't you? You say so. I love you, Johnny. Thanks for saving me again. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know what? We're better than this. We can, we can live better than this. Yeah, well, let's hope so. Say the word, honey. Take that bike, we'll ride off into the sunset, you and me. You, <coughs> me, and that little habit of yours. You're my habit, Johnny. <coughs> and you are ridiculous. Ah, Mr. Stubbs is expecting you. Hey, how you doing, man? Oh, yes, sir. Um, hello, sir. I'm fine. Good. Hey, let me ask you something. Do you really enjoy life? I don't really know what you mean, sir. I mean, just serving all these rich morons, you know, smell of money and all that stuff, you know. Does that make you happy? <laughs> yes, sir, something like that. And tell me, sir, are you happy? I mean, has giving the man the, uh, finger really satisfied some inner urge within you, sir? Well, I think what I've learned is that there's always a man, dude. He just wears a different uniform. Uh, as you say, sir. Uh, Mr. Stubbs is in the steam room uh, right this way. Clevitz! How you doing, sport? Hey. I'm fully clothed in a steam room with a murdering politician. <laughs> well, my whole life falls to shit all around me. But fuck it, I'm all right. Miss your uncle? Oh, I've doubled up on the therapy. Change your therapist. No, oh, but I've been seeing Dr. White since I was seven. Man's a genius. Okay, what can I do for you, man? I'm not really dressed for this, and you said it was urgent. Yes, well, mm, there's been a, a clerical error down in the deepest recesses of the Civic Citadel. A group of... Outstanding civilians, voters, have mistakenly been taken into LCPD custody. Well, isn't there something you could do about that yourself, man? Pull some strings or something? No, I'm afraid not, sport. Way too far down the line for that. Too much red tape, yada, yada, yada. No, all you need to know is that uh, these gentlemen are in a prison transport bus, and you, my friend, need to liberate them. Sure, I got it. Are the buses at the Leftwood Police Station? Get them out of there, and we will make it worth your while. Okay. I got it. Don't sweat it, Clebitz. 
Those kids over here and working already. Oh, those coveralls chafing you? Well, you must be used to wearing Perseo suits and shit. Look, it was a victimless crime. My taxes pay your salary. Long way from the exchange now, aren't you? You yuppie pricks. Still think you're better than guys like me, huh? You should be put down. I saw what you did to that orderly. The man's organs ain't meant to look like that. Come on! You're the best tasting thing I've had since I got locked up. That's intense. All right, since we've all uh, eaten, we've got a new destination, people. Hey, I can't get arrested again! Shut it, yuppies! I'm trying to think! Back your industrial is where they're meant to meet us, by the globe oil plant. So, um, what are you folks in for? For these fellas, it's white-collar shenanigans. Caught with their hand in the cookie jar, my greed was of a uh, more corporeal nature. I'm gonna take that as meaning you were into some sick shit. Let's not discuss it. As you wish, dear boy. I'm guessing it wasn't you I got paid to bail out anyway. I doubt those who remember me think it a great idea that I am about to be roaming free again. Okie dokie then. Thank you, sir. My fellow prisoners and I are most grateful. We've got a boat to catch. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. Oh, I do like to walk along the from 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 where the brass band play fiddly bum 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 bum. Bon voyage. Your friends are out to sea, Mr. Stubbs. Good luck to them. I think they'll need it. Oh, don't you worry, those boys don't need luck. You should have seen them in 73. Believe me, a short recession and a trip to Panama isn't going to finish those boys off. All traitors by blood. Great genes. I was thinking the problem might lie with one of the other passengers on their little cruise. Later on, Mr. Congressman. Billy, I just don't see how we have a choice, man. I have a choice. I'm free. I'm not a slave. I have a choice. Jim, I love you, man, but since you've hit middle age, you really lost something. Yeah, and since you've fucking been strung out on this shit, you've lost something. You fucking mind. Easy, Jim. Look who the fuck you're speaking to, huh? Hey. What's up? I'm just trying to explain to our friend here that possession is nine-tenths of the law. We should make the slopes pay us back. Billy, I got Chad on the phone. Pay us back for what? Look, we have a business opportunity here, Johnny. I think a guy like you should be pleased. Yeah, but Jim says there's some problem. There is. That H we stole. It belonged to the Chinese. The deadbeats told them we got it and they want it back. So? Fuck them. Finally! Billy, Chad's on the phone about the meeting. Look, normally I'd be down for that, but these aren't the type of dudes you just say fuck them to. There's some heavily armed, pissed off motherfuckers who killed a couple of angels when they found out this shit was gone. Now I'm thinking maybe we could strike up a deal with them. Okay. Okay. Yeah, why don't you just suck them off while you're at it? <laughs> and tell Chad I'm sober as can be over here! That's what I Look, told him! Look, I just think that given this war we're back into with the Angels of Death, and given the fact that one or possibly two government agencies are looking into our shit, that offloading the heroin would be a good idea, all right? And looking for a fight is the wrong thing to do right now, given the fact that we can't even stop fighting amongst ourselves! Yeah, you're right. We should probably all get in a circle, hold hands, pray, sing kumbaya. Kumbaya! <laughs> Yeah, whatever. <laughs> this ain't no joking matter, Billy. We'll either end up dead in the ground or back in the lockup with you. I ain't going back there. I'd rather be dead. Damn straight. Well, you don't have to do either, man. I just think that getting rid of that stuff now is the right thing to do. Okay. Smart movies. 
made since getting out of rehab. Yeah, maybe he's starting to calm down. Maybe he stuck too much of that brown into his arm then. How'd you find out that H belonged to the Triads? They got word out all over town. Brought it into Liberty on a ship called the Platypus a few weeks back. Shit, Jim. You're just a font of information, aren't you? What are you swapping paint for? Cops are poking around, Bill. We should chill out. You haven't been talking, have you? Don't go forget what happened when Horse sang his little ditty. Johnny, you're wasting away, man. I think it's all the worrying you do. Why don't you hit the weights later? You're not as big as those days when you hit the roids either, William. <laughs> my arms might not be, but there's other parts that are a lot bigger now that I'm on the drugs. Just ask Ashley. Shit, Billy. You're the fucking man, huh? How about you beat us brothers in a race just to prove it? All right, Jim, Johnny. Since you two were both so vocal in support of this deal, you two are going to be the ones to hand over the brown to the slopes. What? What are you and your boy here going to be doing? We are going to watch your backs because unlike this fat man here, I just don't trust those little yellow bastards. Good luck. Hey, they don't need luck. We're looking out for them. This better be cool, man. So, Johnny, this is, uh... Mm. Okay. Are we gonna be cool and do this thing? So let me get this straight. You are here to sell us back our heroin. The heroin my cousin sweated over in order to bring to this country only to have it stolen. Look, man, we can do business or go to war. Your call. In this country, they seem to be the same thing, you stupid pieces of shit! You. Where the fuck's Billy? He had an arrangement! <laughs> Fucking die! Shit's fucked. Billy's been taken down. Where are you? Bill, yeah, he's fucked out. Thanks to you. I'm around the corner. We're coming. Wait there. Dude, this feels weird. Let's get to the bikes. Suspect William Gray arrested in Chinatown incident. Units back down. What was all that about? I don't know, Everybody man. Billy sounded pissed. Why? He's gonna have plenty of time to think about his anger on the inside. Why'd he bring me into it? We got more important things to think about. Without Billy, we got no leader. You're gonna have to take charge of the chapter, man. It's like being made captain of a sinking ship. What am I gonna do? You're gonna stick by your brothers. We gotta pull together now. You're right about that. Let's see what Brian's got to say for himself. Clemens, man, what the fuck? What happened back there? Gone to prison. He's not dead. You ratted him out. You ratted him out. No, I didn't. He nearly got me fucking killed. You set us up. You always wanted to be the one, the man. 
You're a gimp, John. Now give it a fucking Judas. What the fuck are you talking about, you ass kissing little weasel? Brian, Johnny's not like that, man. Jim, you're wrong, man. I know you're a good guy, but this two prick, he fucked us over, man. He set us up and he called the cops. And you know why? Because they're putting heat on him. They saw him and they've been calling him. I know because they did the same to me. And they told me you ratted us out. You keep talking like that, you are dead, my little friend. Fuck you, man. What? You sent Billy to jail, huh? Show us your phone. Prove you ain't been speaking to the law. I don't prove shit to you. And I didn't talk to no one. Fuck it. Come on! You stay away from us, you hear? Jim, I guess I gotta take over as chapter president now. When people hear about Billy going down, there's gonna be more pressure on us than ever. We gotta get through it. Brothers for life, man. Lost forever. I'll see you soon. Who are you? Dave. Dave Grossman. I'm a friend of Billy's. We met at the clubhouse. Friend of Billy's, huh? Well, good luck with that. Well, hey, I haven't seen him for a long time. But hey, hold on, man. I need a favor. What? What am I, the Midlife Crisis Association? Oh, look, I am desperate, man. Take my watch, take my fleece, uh, take anything, man. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking desperate. I'm dying here. Why is that? I'm being blackmailed by my secretary. She's saying I touched her. And I didn't do anything. She ruined my life. I didn't do anything. That's unlucky, man. Look, it'll break my daughter's heart. She's saying that I looked at her tits. Because I did that, I suppressed her. She is a fucking moron. But my wife is not a kind woman. She'll get one whiff at this. One whiff and she'll rip my life to shreds. I'm a lawyer and I'm getting ass raped by the law. Can you imagine what that feels like? Mercifully not. Well, well, all I need for you is to intimidate her lawyer. Just make him get her to back down, man. So you want me to go put the fear of the Lord in a lawyer? And you're gonna pay me for it? Shit, Dave, why didn't you say so in the first place? Solid. You better have a good lawyer, pal. Yeah? Well, in my books, the only good lawyer is a dead one. Uh... Okay? Put the brakes on your case against Dave Grossman, or you'll be one good fucking lawyer, dude. Okay! I know when I'm beat, okay? Chill out, will ya? I'm just an American. I like an American bite. Yeah, I understand. You older, Grandpa, so you like a more sedate ride. Some older, mature shit. <laughs> give me that. I give you mature <laughs> shit, Malk. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> Ew, who that? Malk. Deshaun. Johnny. Brother of mine. All right. Hey, what's up? Malk's got us a connection, Johnny. I'm good, man. I don't need one of them hair dryers. Oh, oh yeah? You sure now? No, no. <laughs> Some serious hardware. Malk's got us a connection that ain't got nothing to do with bikes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, explosives. That's right. Okay. With this, we could take the angels of death out of business for a long, long time. Oh, you think? With that, it looks like we could take the whole fucking town out of business. Motherfucking <laughs> right. <laughs> so what do you say? Are you down? Oh, man, you gotta ask a question like that? Looks like you're going senile or something, man. That's what I thought you'd say. <laughs> Yo, you fools have fun, but remember this. You get in any trouble, you ain't meet me. Malk, I don't know where you got that shit, man, but one thing's for sure, we will have fun. Kai, right, play nice. Me, son. Later, Malk. Hey. Later. Jonathan, job done, my man. Those deadbeats ain't a problem, and you introduced me to your new friends. Yeah, Malk and Deshaun are good guys. No bullshit, apart from the hair dryers, they right? Seriously, man, you should start using the brothers more now that you're in charge. Give Terry a clay a call if you ever need some help on club business. Might even do them some good to get off their asses later on. Hey, here comes the big man. Gentlemen. Hey. Chatting and Johnny. Hey, what's the plan? We spoke to that fat fuck Brian. He wants to sit down, call a truce. Brian <laughs> wants a truce? Yeah. Fuck that. Let's go get him. That's what I thought you'd All say. Right, let's do it. Looking forward to seeing Brian? Maybe you should do the talking, man. I don't know if I can trust myself. Hey, man, last thing I want is to talk to that sniveling little shitbag. These are tough times. How's Jackie feel about what's going down? He just doesn't want to see the kid grow up without a father. None of us do, James. Don't worry about that. He should be around here somewhere.
becomes Tweedledum and Tweedle fucking dumb. Fuck you. Billy was always good to you and you ratted him out. Billy's a one-way SOB and he don't give a shit about the bros. No, uh-uh. Yeah, you think Billy'd stick his neck out for you? You're dumber than I thought. You did it, you did it. You did it, you did it. I knew you'd say that. Just knew you'd say that. You're so predictable. Wow. Johnny Little Dickowitz. What a baby. And your babysitter, Billy, is on the inside now, so it's bedtime for you, motherfucker. That's your call, Get the boy. fuck out of town. That's your call, you boy. You're the one taking a nap. Put these assholes in the ground, brothers. Let's bring these assholes out, Johnny boy. Looks like we're about all that's left of the Alderney chapter, man. We don't need numbers, man. We need brothers. And that's what we got left. You, me, Angus, Terry, Clay, brothers. You're right about that. Shit. I wish we pinned down Brian, that little weasel. He'll turn up soon enough. Yeah, maybe. See you soon, brother. Gentlemen, Johnny, you remember Ray, right? Yeah, how you doing? How am I doing? I got the feds all over me. I got a boss who's a paranoid wreck, and I got a guy above me in the food chain with a brain like an overcooked naughty joke. <laughs> Things are great. Yeah? Sounds like shit to me, but whatever. So, uh, why are you here? I heard you boys is having a little internal dispute. And yeah, where'd you hear that from? From Ashley. You friends with Ashley? <laughs> Everybody's friends with Ashley, tough guy. <laughs> uh, you know, she's a good kid and all. A little messed up, but, you know, she needed a friend. Ray told us where Brian is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, where? And how the hell does he know? All right, all right, all right, all right. Don't go breaking my balls, all right? I talked to Brian a half an hour ago. And listen, I understand where you guys are coming from. And on one hand, I don't give a shit. A bunch of grease monkeys want to have an all-out gangbang beat my guest. You're all adults. Sort of. <laughs> but right now, I need calm. Billy's on the inside. I need a steady flow of merchandise. So it's in my interest to see that you boys calm things down. End this little squabble and get back to work. I'll see you later. Yeah, see you later, yeah, Ray. Yeah, bye, buddy. So what do you think, Johnny? I think that guy makes my skin crawl. But now that you mention it, so does Brian. And right now, he's our problem. God damn it. Brian was my brother. Yeah, he was, but so were a lot of people. I don't feel like that shit means too much anymore. So? So I'm gonna go pay Brian a visit and see just what that fat fucker's problem is. See you all later. I mean, I wouldn't want to be in prison or anything, but I, you know, I, I take it. 
Fuck it, Johnny the Rat! Smoke out Brian. Brian. Hold on, where do you think you're going, man? You gotta hold up to him. I'm talking to you, alright? Back off of him, you stupid shit. Can't you tell the difference between a knock and one of my upstanding business associates? I'm sorry about Andreas here. It's impossible to find good help in this city. I'm supposed Don't to worry about it. Hey, yo. What up, Johnny Johnny boy? Johnny. What up? Talk to your girl. Let's make it happen, Captain. I didn't think you lost bikers got down with peoples like Mark here. Then with their sports bike, you with your jumpers. <laughs> and looking at the two of you, it don't make no sense to me. It's a crazy city. Well, this is crazy times, Liz. There's a recession going on. And in this troubling economic climate, you gotta make compromises. Mark here is my compromise. Hey, yo, fuck you, clown. <laughs> you can compromise these nuts. Shit. Give me some. These ain't the problem <laughs> times for us. Yeah. People always gonna want what we got to sell. Mm -hmm. Well, they're gonna want even more products when they lose their jobs and ain't got nothing else. Okay, I guess all we gotta worry about is the cops taking us down then. True that, cat. Hey, yo, E, let them know what it is. You gotta take some thieving, snitching motherfuckers and show them I'm a bitch. But I ain't they fucking bitch, okay? They bribed the guard on the Eastboro Bridge to let them through without checking their law, right? You guys is gonna go down there and tear them apart. Entiende? Uh, it is. Now get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, ma. Avanza, cabrones. Okay. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Fucking parade. Trame una criada, Andreas. Watch your mouth, son. Make fuck yourself you. useful and clean this shit up. Okay, okay, but you know what? I'm gonna need some wrong gloves. I'm gonna be honest, okay? Because I got. Let's keep a low profile. Ride in the car, man. Dude, can one of your people bring the bikes around? Handle this, Johnny. Lead the way, Johnny! What was all this shit with you dissing me in front of Elizabeth, man? I thought you could handle it. I can't handle, motherfucker. She's just one cold female, and I don't want her thinking I'm a bitch. Then I guess you got to prove yourself. No pressure, man. Go fuck yourself, Johnny. I do, I do. There's a van that's in the wrong hands, if you catch my drift. Well, we should do something about that. See you soon. I'm gonna take care of this. We're gonna get through this. Yeah, it's okay. You what's free. the problem? You're holding traffic up. What's the hey, problem? Hey, we're kind of in a rush here, okay? Listen to me, man. You gotta get out of the way. You're holding up traffic. What's the problem here? Okay. Hey, would you just let us through? Look, you don't gotta exact change. You're not going through. Those are the rules. I don't make them, but I stick to them. So just turn around and head back to the I'll come you? back with all the exact change that you need, all right? Just let us you through, please. Try. We'll pay my bills and put food on the table. Hey, turn around hey, now. Look, I got some change right here. Come on, oh, come on, let's get this shit moving. All right, this one's on us. Now move your ass. Thanks, guys. You're doing great, honey. It's okay. Just... All right, now, let's do this. you both good thing that little family didn't come through here five minutes later these guys ain't gonna know what hit them we just need the shipment okay someone's got a hard on for us Can't trust nothing nowadays. Can't trust the price of gas. Go! Can't 
You might just get me. Eat me! Give up the man! Us. We're adults here, Malcolm. Allegedly, Johnny boy. Allegedly. So let's not let this descend into an argument about the merits of good American machinery versus foreign plastic fantastic crap. Or why you guys look like rejects from a bondage club. Or why you guys dress like the Republican Space Rangers. Ouch! Anyway, what I'm asking is, what's the deal with this music you put out and the branded clothing and shit? Just part of our vibe, man. Roll with it. The vibe? Yeah, man. The vibe. It's how we do. You know, we're a complete subculture. Like you guys used to be back in about, what, 63 or something? Completely fucking lost, if you ask me. We've still got heart, man. The lost MC are still here. We just don't get on me TV and scream about it. Yeah, sure you are. Whatever you say, Johnny boy. now. That's a fine little nest egg to get us through a low point in these here global markets, baby. Sure, Malp. I'm just hoping you, me, and Liz can stay out of jail long enough to enjoy it later on. I can't... Yes, pick up. I can't hear what you're saying. Easy. <laughs> oh, it's you. One second. No, it's not un momento, chica. <laughs> no, all you gotta do is walk through customs and you're home free. Está bien. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you soon. And hey, don't worry about my friend Johnny, huh? He's, uh, he's ugly, but he don't bite. <laughs> uh. Uh. Andreas! Hey. Andreas! Hey. Why do I pay you to protect me when you well, don't do I, nothing? I was in, in the kitchen, I was doing the thing. I don't want no fucking excuses! Get the fuck back in the kitchen! Pero, okay, está bien. Okay, está bien. Jesus! <laughs> Johnny boy. What's up? You had a good time the other day with those boys, huh? Men and their motorcycles. Sure. <laughs> Why we need to hit that convoy so hard? You know, all these bodies can't be good for your business. Ah, uh, you don't think I could survive out here if I wasn't dropping some people? I'm the big boss. Okay. <sighs> people gonna love you. But they're gonna hate you even more, right? Now you're starting to sound like Billy. They're gonna hate you because you're a woman in this macho fucking world? They're gonna hate you because you're from the island? Super people think Latinos ain't worth shit in this town. When you're the big boss, and you me, these bodies gotta come with it. Okay. I came up from a rough background. Man tried to turn me out when I was 14 years old. I fed him his balls. I'm just saying you should limit your casualties. <laughs> when I ended that fucker, I got a reputation in PR. No man touched me after that. Now, I, I ain't saying all men are bad. Would have married three of them if I thought that, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's do this, Liz. Okay, okay. Go get my girl, Martha. She just came in on the Adios flight from PR. You think this place look okay? It's so hard to get it nice again once the assholes have their party. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah? Yeah, she'll love it. Okay. Where? Andreas? Si. 
You fucking missed a spot. I missed a spot, no. Come rub these pillows and get that spot off my couch. Déjame, suéltame. What? Yo no tengo perico, tú no entiendes. Yo solamente vine aquí para ver la estatua de happiness. Have like English, huh? Have like English. Suck a medical penis when you get into holding. Liberty swingers, good team, eh? Wow. Drug mule skanks ain't usually this cute. This is gonna be fun. Hey, come on, baby. No. I don't know about you. But the America I believe in doesn't deport hard-working young girls like this one. Yeah, well, the only thing this girl works hard at is swallowing bags of coke, and in a minute, blowing me. So, uh, sir... Oh, yeah. Hey! Oh, hold on. Is your name Marta? Si, sí, si. Sí. Uh, come on with me. Come on, keep your head down. después de esta bienvenida tan perra. Uf. Estoy mareada. ¿Tiene idea de cuántos condones llenos de perico hay en mi intestino delgado? Espero que nada se haya roto. No speak y -e Spanish, Marta. I'm sorry. Here we are. ¿Aquí? Bueno. Gracias, Johnny. Nos vemos pronto. Andres, you piece of shit, leave this shit alone. She knows how I like it. You, took, you don't need to tell her shit. Leave my... Hey, Johnny! Hey, what's happening? Andres, shut the fuck up! Te quedas para comer? Huh? Eat. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. We gotta go. Shit's gotta get done. All right, some other time then. No, I don't think there's gonna be another time, man. Shit's closing in. All these snitches all over the place. If I can hear that on your wiretap, Andres. You fucking hear that? Maybe you guys should uh, get rid of him and sell this coke later, huh? You want us to take Marta off your hands? <laughs> Look after her until the heat's gone? You ain't getting your hands on my baby girl. You only gotta worry about yourself and selling that coke. You don't gotta worry about me, and you don't gotta worry about her neither, okay? Okay. Come on, let's do this. Yeah, we out, son. Adios, amigos. Andrea's gonna be waiting for you. That's right, I'm gonna be waiting for you and you and anybody else who shows up, okay? Cause that's the way I roll. We're making this transaction. Boys, I'm more butterfly. Come on. Shut. Amigo, it feel good to have you and Terry by my side right now. Yeah, we'll come, man. Just don't get us killed, all right?
What up, kid? I got that package for you. Yeah, man. Overnight Express. What? You been stepping on this shit? Fuck you. Test it and see. Pure as punk like you gonna find. Hey, listen, you do your job and let us do ours. Yeah, whatever, man. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> that fucking good? Yeah, it's good. So what you gonna do about it? I'm gonna take it for our own. I don't think so. Well, you best change your mindset, because this right here, man, is that. Yeah, motherfucker! Fucked up now, bitch. Holy shit. Yo, you see Fuck. what you did? This God damn up, you, motherfucker. Fuck. Fuck. My yeah, fucking fight, man. Yo, come on, Johnny. to get out of this one. Johnny boy. And maybe we should get us a room together at the Jefferson Motel. I heard you and your brothers like that hardcore, hard rock bonding shit. Quit these flirtations, <laughs> B. Alright, alright. You gotta take this shit back to Liz. Right, right. Yo, catch you around, Johnny. You wanna kiss your daddy? Whoa there. Peace out. See you boys later. Johnny, how'd it go? Do I have some bail money at least? Deal didn't happen. Buyer got smart, pigs got involved. Our friends are heading back with the product. Things uh, couldn't get much worse here, you know. You know, this is tough times. You best stay away from me and Mara for a while, huh? See you. All right, baby. Just don't get freaked out if you see me rolling in a cop car. Weird times call for weird measures, Liz. Ashley? What is it this time? Hey, Johnny boy. It's nothing. I mean, it's something, but, but it ain't like you think. I need you to meet a friend of mine, Ray Buccino. That guinea? Jesus, what are you doing with him? We're not doing nothing, Johnny. Nothing we ain't supposed to. I need you to meet him, is all. We're over at Drusilla's in Little Italy. Can we see you, baby? Mr. Klevitz, how are things? Fuck off, man. You know, Johnny, you should have thought about being more forthcoming earlier in our relationship. As it happens, others in your fraternity are not as loyal as you. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're about to see a close friend on the witness stand. Time's up, Johnny. 
I'll believe it when I see it, you tight ass prick. Adios. You're here. You're here, old man Johnny. What's the matter, sugar? Oh, Johnny, I fucked up. I fucked up real bad. What'd you do? I messed up, baby. Promise you won't be mad. Why? What'd you do? I'm an addict. I need help. What the fuck did you do? How the hell you did... must be Johnny. Who are you? My name is not important. What is this? Your woman here owes Dmitry Raskolov a lot of money. Okay. I, we I, need I... you to do us favor. What? We need you to kidnap someone for us. Well, I'm not in the kidnapping business, dude. And I'm not in the dude business, dude. You either do it or Junkie gets killed. Not difficult decision, even for a man stuck in 1960s time warp. <laughs> it's easy. You grab him and deliver him to warehouse of Lampak in Bokhan Industrial. And this will pay off her debts? Well... <laughs> It pays off interest. Wonderful. The name of the man we want is Roman Balik. Yeah. He runs a cab business, but hangs around some backroom gambling place on uh, Dillon Street in Shotlock. I got it. You find him. You take him. Now, run along. Ashley, you gotta stop yeah. fucking things up. Fuck. Dude, you busy? I got something. And I don't need to get around the clubhouse. I'll owe you, brother. What you need, Johnny? I need to snatch some guy named uh, Roland Bellick. Runs a cab firm. In debt to some Russians. You down? I'll pay. Oh, all right. I'm a boy in wine, no See you in a minute. Nice rice rocket you got there. Come with a fortune cookie? <laughs> As a matter of fact, it did. He told me I was gonna meet some 1950s looking motherfucker who preferred rusty oil dripping junk to high tech precision machinery. Rusty oil dripping American junk. Bitch, please. Your patriotism is making you ignorant. Anyway, we're gonna go grab somebody. We need poor Will. I got that. All right, man. But I'm driving the cage. Now, you sure you know how? Watch and learn, my friend. Watch and fucking learn. So we got a plan, Johnny Boy? Of course we got a plan. We snatch this guy, deliver him to some other guys, then we pat ourselves on the back for doing a great job. Sounds simple as shit. If you want wicked presentation before every job you do, you're running with the wrong crowd. Who is this guy? Why you want him snatched? I don't know. I'm doing this as a favor for a friend. <laughs> Must be a good friend. It's complicated. Oh, it's like that, isn't it? She like your girlfriend or something? Oh, that's cool. I'm feeling that. Things is coming together. It's starting to make sense now. She ain't my old lady, all right? Sure, sure she ain't. That's why you running all over town trying to snatch a fool up, huh? Please. She's a friend and she's in trouble. I believe in looking out for people you've been close to. You and your boys might ride, but you don't know nothing about brotherhood. She. I know about brothers, but I know about bitches as well. This here job? <laughs> Smells like a bitch to me. They got bitch stink all over it, son. Thank God I'm hanging out with another two-bit street philosopher. She playing you? She in trouble? I don't know. Both, maybe. Fuck it. Shut up for a second. You know, Mal, I think you've got unresolved women issues. Were you close to your mother growing up? Did she let you down? We ain't kidnapping nobody because of my mama, Johnny. It's your lady friend getting us to do this. Think on that, son. Man, how you doing? <laughs> Please, gentlemen. The men in there just took my money. I can't get robbed twice in one day. What do you want? The shirt off my back? Come on! We're not robbing you, we're taking you. Oh, no. Chips have been cashed, Chubby. No! Wait. Get in there! Somebody! Shut Stop. up! Shut up! Shut up! Badass, You're one in a bow hand, fatty. This ain't the first grungy European I've met recently. I think he's trying to say something, Malcolm. I can get money. I don't know.
Bruno. I ain't hear shit. Okay. 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 He has money. He will pay you. Oh, I get it. I think the man's trying to give us some money. We let him go, and he'll come back with a bag full of unmarked 20s, right? Yes. yes. It's Brooklyn. It's Brooklyn. <laughs> you mean he's, like, trying to bribe us? Yeah. <laughs> I hope. Thanks. Come Drive on, safely. Get, out of here. Have a nice get your ass back here. Get back in the car. All right. You win. I know when to hold my hand. If it was a box of donuts, you'd get your fat ass in there. Come on, man. Get in, fat man. Johnny. Man, this for future reference, Malk, it might be worth locking your hostages into a car. All right, man. I'll make sure it don't repeat itself. You pull a stunt like that again, and it's over for you, bacon ass. Somebody looking for a fat slav with a bladder problem? So, this is Roman <laughs> Bellic? <laughs> Not such a tough guy, eh? What is all this fuss about his cousin? Listen, buddy. Ashley's square with you now. So do me a favor. Go easy on the fat man. I've seen some of the bodies you people drop in the humble. Easy, Johnny. You saw the shit stains in the back seat. He's scared enough. What happens to this shithead is none of your concern. You come with me. Shit, Johnny. Yo, I gotta bounce. Be Later. easy, man. Baby? Those Russians have got their guy. You got lucky, but you got to control yourself, Ashley. The ice got you into this mess. I know, I am, Johnny. And you know what's the best thing about me? You. Call me, okay? What's up, baby? Nothing. Raise a friend. He's... Raise a friend? What are you talking about? Yeah, he's a friend. You know, he's a friend like you, baby. I mean, not like you, but, but you know, we ain't, we ain't doing nothing. I mean, not at the moment, but, but he's, he's a friend, and he's been, he's been, he's been real good to me, and, and we need you, we need you to do this for us, all right? And I ain't sleeping with him, but, you know, you and me broke up. You was with that Layla girl. That's all over now, baby. You know that. Man, yeah. you gotta get off them drugs. I know. I will. I need you to do this for me. Let me talk to Ray first. Where is he? In there somewhere. Uh, right. Hey, Johnny! Hey. I'm like glad to see you, huh? Ashley says you want something. Ashley? Oh, mm. man. Yeah, good kid, you know, man, not ice. My day was coking down as that was it. I even missed the ecstasy. That shit fucks people up. Yep. Listen, <clears throat> I got a little business proposition for you. Oh, yeah? Okay, I know about some diamonds. Illegal, never in the system, easy to move, no insurance, couple millions worth. Bought by wise guys, from wise guys, for wise guys. You understand? No tax man, nothing. Got our names all over. Right. Problem. 
I can't be seen near them. All right, let's just call it a conflict of interest. Well, I imagine that happens quite often with you, Ray. Oh, yeah. You don't like me too much, do you? Does anyone like you too much? I'll tell you what. You go do this job, you get yourself some real money, you can buy yourself some real friends. Yeah, I should do that. The ice is being held by a guy named Gay Tony. You're gonna need a little help on this. Should be no problem with that. Good. And stay in touch. Johnny! Don't get too clever. Jonathan, what can I do for you? Brother James, we got a hookup in Broker. Might need some help. All right, man. I'll let the Lost Brotherhood over there know you're coming. They like getting as dirty as the rest of us. Appreciate it, man. Okay, brothers, let's get this ice. Brother John, off that feet forever. All right, boys. All I know is that these diamonds are being held by a man about town called Tony Prince. Where to take him? There should be a good profit in it for the lost MC if this comes through. So let's fucking do it. Yeah? Who knows? Maybe down the line, there'll be an opportunity to rip off the smug Guido who gave us the job in the first place. Come on! Brothers for life, lost forever! Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, so, um... Mm, mm, mm. These are great. Mm, they're great. But, uh, two million. You had your head in the oven. Mr. Tony, I have what they tell you. Perfect clarity, beautiful clarity, well cut, and a shitload of carrots. What do you expect? <gasps> Tony, they're gorgeous. Mm, just like you. <laughs> hey, come on, can we do a handover, please, and get out of here? This is too much. No. Ignore him. He's probably been up all night with some bimbo. Tony! <laughs> You're a chef. Well cooked, yeah. I had a line in some kitchen supplies. How about I throw that into the equation of what's the price? Look, here's the money we agreed upon last 10%. Just give us the ice. All right, all right. Hey, Tony, can I hold them? Oh. Thank you. Uh, thanks. Oh, shit, Tony, oh. we out of here. Come on, let's go. Come on, get into the club. And don't fuck about, okay? Terry! Oh, man, let's go. Got you that ice. Want me to bring it back to the restaurant? I know you don't like me, Johnny. You don't have to get me clipped. Ah! Fucking fucked, man! Oh. What's going on, baby? I ditched the ice. It's in the trash now. And Ray better hope a garbage truck doesn't come around anytime soon. Fuck. Ray got any money for me? There ain't no money yet. Ray's got to sell this stuff before you get your cut. He'll be in touch, sweet. I love you, Johnny. Not enough, you don't. Ray Mundo! John John! Ashley says the love. Yeah. You gotta give that girl another chance, you know? You can get the perfect free jump. Thanks for the advice, Ray. I was thinking the same thing about you in a coffin. You got that diamond money? You're gonna have to work for it, friend. Hope you don't mind sweating a little. Here's all that's happening at the Limitoni. You may show my man Nicky walks away with half the bread, buddy. Ciao. Hey, all right, man. How's it going? Hey, good to see you again. Yeah, likewise. Uh, let's hope this goes a little better than before, yeah? Come on, let's get inside. Gentlemen, gentlemen, pardon the precautions. You know how things are. No problem. Let's do this. Okay, let's see the stuff, gentlemen. Maury, come over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Since we're having a little show and tell, let's see some money. Of course, no problem. There it is. Beautiful, huh? Unmarked bills. No history, no need to launder. Good. Nico, show him the stuff. Get in there, Maury. Isaac, look at them. Gorgeous, huh? 
Like condensed money. Isaac, these are great. Oh. Rest of you motherfuckers want to die? Do something stupid, okay? Fuck you! Just get the shit, man! Come on! This guy's a dangerous motherfucker. What's your problem? I told you not to get too fucking clever. What? Oh, you gotta be kidding. Start walking. Downstairs. Okay, I'm going. That's right. <coughs> Gentlemen, what the fuck is going on here? Fucking hell! Stop that shit, asshole! Anything yet? Nah. Burn him again. Where's my fucking stuff? You see, genius over here would rather get creme brulee before he dies. Hopefully you ain't so stupid. Where's my stuff? I don't know what you're talking about. Fuck you! Uh. Uh. What are you, fucking death? Uh. Where's my fucking stuff? I don't know. Who do you think you're bullshitting? A bullshitter? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> You're gonna have to cut that shit out, Ray. It's not fucking cool. I fucked Ashley, my friend, and now I'm gonna fuck you. Where's my fucking stuff? Fuck off, Ray. Go ahead. <laughs> Drop the fucking gun, goon! No! I'll cut him! No. I can get the back, get the back the fuck up! Back up! Go ahead. Go ahead! Go ahead, run like a couple of girls! Billy was right about both of these! Backstabbing fools. God, I got guys in every corner! Where you gonna go? Oh, I'll see you later! I gotta go talk to Ashley. I'm gonna go get the fucking brothers. I don't like this! Let's go! Hot damn, baby girl! Your friend Ray ain't so friendly. Johnny Kate, you're all right. I'm sorry, sweets. I think Ray took some guys after you. Of course he is, baby. Thanks for the heads up. Meet me outside the house, okay? I'll be there if I'm still walking. I'll wait, baby. I'm sorry. 
For which bit? For everything. He, he told me everything. Me and Ray ain't friends no more. Uh, me and Ray neither, sugar. Johnny, I got some bad news. Jim, he ain't... Oh, no. Oh, man. Not Jim. <sighs> Fuck this. Angus is crippled, Billy gone insane. Now Jim's dead. I guess that's what they call payback. You got me. I don't got you. Crystal got a guy you, babe. Johnny, I'm gonna quit. Yeah, and I'm an idiot believing in your bullshit all this time. It ain't your fault. It's my fault I'm a fucking moron. I'm gonna go to rehab, straighten myself out. Anyhow, he, he told me you wouldn't get hurt. I wouldn't have done it otherwise. Yeah? Well, why shouldn't I kill you? Why bother? I'd be better off dead. But Johnny, Ray ain't the problem. What are you talking about? Are you telling me that a backstabbing mob guy who wants to kill me ain't the problem? It's Billy. Ugh. See, it's Billy. Ray, it turns out that Billy was trying to poison him against you, and now apparently Billy's going states. He's gonna, he's gonna blame you. I'm sorry. Well, what now? You gotta get someone to help you. Maybe that congressman. Maybe. We'll see. Go on and get out of here. I love you, Johnny K. You're speaking a foreign language to me now, lady. Now get the fuck out of here. I'm not in the mood to do any killing for the supposed elite today. You're gonna have to get your own hands dirty, Stubbs. Oh, spare me the lectures. This is important, Jonathan. Important enough for me to come down from my ivory tower and rub elbows with you blue-collar types on the wrong side of the West River. Meet me at your clubhouse. I drink single malt. <laughs> nice place you got here, Johnny. Not quite sure I meet the dress code, but I think I like the smoking policy. What the fuck do you want? Now, is that any way to treat a friend? Are we friends? I think so. You've certainly seen me naked. You want a cigar? Do you want to go fuck yourself? Oh, not particularly. But listen, your friend, Ray, don't worry about him. Why not? Apparently, he and a lot of his associates under some serious observation and in the process of imploding. They'll either be dead or inside within a month or so. Best thing you can do, stay away from him. What about Billy Gray? Yes, well, you've got a bit of a problem there, sport. He's been talking inside. Thinks he can help pin a major drug dealing ring on you and your buddy in the chair. Thinks he's going into the witness protection program. And if he calls you, you'll do 15 years and he'll live in a condo in Arizona. Well, I don't doubt that, Mr. Stubbs, but he's on the inside. Yeah, I know. And there's currently very large walls and armed guards between me and him. <laughs> Yeah, well, you're a smart guy. You'll figure something out. If you get into trouble, you call me when you get there. I might have something to help you with it. Good. I'll need it. Hey, one more thing, Stubbs. Why are you doing this? I told you. I was good for a favor. Getting out of here? Oh, haven't you enjoyed your time in the state's care? What a fucking pleasure! Terry, man, we gotta pay our friend Billy a visit. You've been talking. Bring Clay and bring all the fucking firepower you got. Meet me at the Alderney State Correctional. I'm waiting. The final run, boys. I appreciate this, man. It ain't gonna be easy. Johnny, my brother! Johnny K, what's new? Here she is! You're not getting cash for these weapons, man. Blame Billy. <laughs> Bye. 
If they had to give one of them up, brothers, which would it be? Fights or women? I want to say women, but I know I'm weak. You boys ready? I'm about to bust this open with the rocket launcher. For you. I'm not gonna ask how you got in here, brother. Checkmate, dude. Come on, get it over with. Do it! I'm doing it! <laughs> what? You waiting for a speech or something? Come on! But he sure as shit ripped it apart. I'll forgive him the insults and injuries, but I can't forgive him that. Treacherous fucking bastard. He went insane! Johnny. Hey. Hey. fun here. <laughs> yeah, we did. But it's over. Yeah, it is. How the fuck did that happen? You know how it happens. It's that fucked up part of people, which means good is never good enough. I mean, it wasn't enough we had to be drug dealers. We also had to be outlaws, to be maniacs, to be psychos, and to be greedy. You know. Well, that combination of Greed and fucked up stupidity, that works well. In the government, not so good if you're a fucking crook. Huh. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. Go ahead. Let's put this place out of its misery. Yeah, do what you gotta do. Come on, man, let's get out of here.